Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how you can be able to partition your disk on your computer. Before I get into the video, remember to subscribe to our channel, turn the notification on. I'll get into my PC on the search tab. I'll search partition. As you can see, there is the option of create and format hard disk partitions. I'll just need to click on that and open it. After I open it, it takes me to the disk management. You can see the, the different details about my disk. There's the local disk C, disk O partition 1, all those details and you can see also the, the size of my disk. The disk 1 has 1863 GB, that's almost 2 terabytes. So that's the disk that I'm going to be splitting into several parts. I'm going to partition it so that I can be able to have different separations that I'm going to be using. After I click on that, disk one that has two terabytes i right click on it you can see the option of new simple volume that's the option that you click whenever you want to create a new volume after i click on that option you can see a pop-up comes up welcome to the new simple volume wizard you can click next to continue in this case i'm just going to close so that i can be able to show you the other parts of the partitions the details that you can also note so that you can be able to convert your disk into partitions that you know the information and the properties after i right click on the disk one you can see you can convert your disk into dynamic disk or you can convert your disk into gbt disk I'll continue with the partition process. I'll go back into my new simple volume. I'll create it and click on next. Here you can see the maximum disk space. It's 1,900,000. That's almost two terabytes. That's the overall disk space. The minimum that you can be able to partition is 8 MB. I need to input the size of my new partition, the simple volume size in MB. I need to click there the numbers and the figures, the size. I'll input my size, there is my size, then I'll click next. Then you need to assign a letter for your drive. In this case, I'll call it D and click next. There is the format of the volume, the file system, I leave it on NTPS. And the volume label, I'll just call it new volume. You can also change it, whatever name you want to call it. I'll just leave the, the disk as new volume and I'll click next. You can also, there is also the option of you can format or you can tell it not to format. So it's up to you if you want to format the, the disk before you partition. So I'll click on next and I finish the process. As you can see, the, the first one is already formatting the disk as i did not check the box of do not format so it will format the disk that is remaining and the unlocated space will move to the new partition there you can see the separation of the disk the disk was two terabyte as you can see right now one is 900 gb and the other one is 800 gb that's the partition the new volume partition and there is the unlocated space this is the space that remains whenever you specify a new division into your disk. This unlocated space is the one that is not yet categorized into use. I'll also label the, the new unlocated space. I'll just locate it and create a new partition so that I can be able to utilize all the space in my disk. So in this case, I'm not going to call it the new volume. I'll change the volume label and call it extra. Then I'll click next and I finish. It will first of all format the disk because I did not check on that option of not to format. I'll go back into my PC, if, into this PC, just to check if the partitions have already been divided on my PC, just to confirm. After I click on this PC, you can see there is the local disk C, which I did not touch the local disk C. So you can see the extra volume, you can see the new volume and the volume G. And that's how you partition the disk in your computer. I hope this video was educative. If you find the video of value, subscribe to our channel. You can talk to us in the comment section if you find any hardship creating the partition or you want to ask any question. Talk to us in the comment section and we'll get back to you.